So Texas is draconian anti-immigrant law, SB4, hangs in the balance after the Supreme Court lifted a hold that prevented it from going into effect and sent it back down to the fifth US Circuit Court of Appeals. That that court is now conducting hearings on it today and it will likely be kicked back up to the Supreme Court. So we shall see, but as a reminder of what is at stake here. Uh, SB4 makes it illegal, it makes illegal immigration a state crime, enabling state and local law enforcement to arrest those suspected of crossing the US-Mexico border who could then face deportation to Mexico or jail time. Now, the reason I, uh, I underlined the state part is that this is the jurisdiction of the federal government. This is US Customs and Border Patrol's job to do just that, but Greg Abbott, um, really needs to outdo himself when it comes to being awful and is like, nah, not good enough for me. I'm going to um, make sure that we turn all of our law enforcement against immigrants instead of, I don't know, uh, helping out communities in general. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. But cool, cool, cool. So the state of it now is that a three panel judge a three judge panel of New Orleans based fifth US Circuit Court of Appeals split to one in saying a brief order that the measure known as SP4 should be blocked. The same court is now hearing arguments on the issue this morning, Wednesday morning. Um, and again, no, no matter how this shakes out, um, the appeals court's gonna have arguments over the next month and it'll probably go back to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court didn't say whether this law was constitutional or unconstitutional, which to be honest is a little worrisome when you have Again, this is this is the seeds of the like we need like secession movement, right? This is what happens when a state like Texas wants to go rogue and say, well, we're just gonna do our own laws that supersede federal law. Like that actually is unconstitutional, but look at our Supreme Court. Um, a little bit more before I kick it to you, Sharon. Why does this law matter? What does it look like? Um, under this, according to the New York Times today, under the law, any migrant seen by police waiting across the Rio Grande could be arrested and charged in a state court with misdemeanor on their first offense. A second offense would be a felony. After being arrested, migrants could be ordered during the court process to return to Mexico or face prosecution if they didn't agree to go. Critics say it could lead to the detention of people far from the border if police suspect that they are in the country illegally. Again, there is a wide jurisdiction that the Customs and Border Patrol have from the US-Mexico border. Apparently that's not enough. This is all of Texas. Anyone can be rounded up and accused of being undocumented and detained. By the way, it is already a felony, or excuse me, a misdemeanor to cross the border. So what are we doing here, people? The new law effectively, again, allows state law enforcement officers all over Texas to conduct what until now has just been the US Border Patrol's work. Now, Mexico is having none of this. Mexico said they're not gonna accept deportations made by Texas under any circumstances. The country's foreign minister said on Tuesday in response to the US Supreme Court's decision to allow Texas to arrest migrants who cross into the state without authorization. So. It's wild and yet it's catching fire. But Sharon, uh, yeah, I, fire, uh, fire it would be a great word for it. It's <laughs> chaos. And just like you said, Mexico said they're not accepting people back. Just like they said, we're not gonna pay for the wall. And they didn't, <laughs> okay? So Greg Abbott wants chaos. Whenever he's out of the news cycle for a nanosecond or two, maybe a minute, right. he suddenly <laughs> brings the heat again. Good thing police in Texas, though, we should feel good about this, are pretty perfect and don't make mistakes and won't deport the wrong people. Uh, it's happened before. Yeah. No, 100%. And, and it's something, you know, that other states are trying to mimic and um, ironically, states that aren't border states, which I don't know why this is a thing. It's almost like the less proximity you have to the actual border, the more scared you are of the border. Can I remind everyone how blue the actual border counties are? Even in Texas, y'all, these people do not like Governor Greg Abbott, all right? If you are live there, you know what I'm talking about. But Iowa, Iowa, 
wants to send a Texas style immigration enforcement bill to their governor. Again, making it a misdemeanor for someone to enter Iowa illegally if they were previously deported or were denied entry into the US or just they just wanna get rid of undocumented people. Again, try running your economy without undocumented human beings. They are after all human. We'd like to see you try. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.